Penny Mordaunt's coronation outfit, the sword and her role in the crowning of King Charles. As Lord President of the Privy Council, all eyes have fallen on Mordaunt who carried the sword of state during the ceremony. Penny Mordaunt, the Tory MP who is the leader of the House of Commons and Lord President of the Privy Council, has found herself at the centre of the nation's interest thanks to a bold outfit. An impressive upper body strength at the coronation of King Charles III. Thanks to her role at the top of the Privy Council, Mordaunt played a central role in the coronation of King Charles III, which began as she walked the 17th century sword of state down Westminster Abbey's aisle at the opening of the ceremony. It marks the first time a woman has held the sword, which is also used for the state opening of Parliament. The towering, silver gilt sword boasts the molds of a lion and unicorn and features a crimson red velvet covering. During the service, it was blessed by the Archbishop of Canterbury before Mordaunt presented it to the king. Afterward, the sword was placed on the altar before being redeemed by the MP, who drew it before continuing to hold it for the duration. Mordaunt went on to present the regalia to the king during the investiture and crowning ceremony, and then lead him holding the sword back through the abbey. Much attention has been focused on the sartorial decision-making Mordaunt made for the occasion. The regal, teal shade cape dress, which came with golden ferns embroidered as well as a matching hat, has been long in the making. She finished her look with nude suede block heels and a pair of hefty, drop pearl earrings.